Now I'm going to go over one hot state machine. And to draw a one hot state diagram, the easiest way is to look at your, your current state diagram. So we had this from before. And since we have six states, we're going to draw six flip flops. And each one of these represents one state. So here I'm going to have, I'm going to call this S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, and S6. So similar to before, we start with S1. So at S1, we're looping back. So at S1, we're looping back to S1. Right. However, we have a condition of start not. So we can have a start here. And if it's start not, then we go back to S1. So it's looping back to S1 if it's a start not. So this is an AND gate. Now from S1, it's going to go to S2. So here we're going to have this S, the output of S1 is going to go into the input of S2. However, we have a condition of start. So here we have a start and an AND gate. Okay, so from S2, we just go straight to S3. So output of S2 is going to go straight into S3 and there's no condition. From S3, it's going to go straight to S4. And now at S4, it can either go back to S3. So S4 can come back to S3. It's a bad drawing. Okay. S4 can come back to S3 with the condition B7 not. So again, we're going to have an AND gate. to come into S3. However, we see here somewhere from before, we already have something that coming into S3. So here, we're going to have an OR gate because it can either be whatever from before or this. So we're going to have an OR gate. So here, and an OR gate. Ah, bad drawing. Okay. So like that. Okay. Now from S4, we can also go to S5. So S4 can go to S5 with the condition B7. So we have B7 here. And we have an AND gate. And from S5, it can go to S6. With the condition C7. So AND gate here. Or from S5, it can also go back to S3 with condition C07. So S5. Going back to S3. Sorry. This is hard to draw. Okay, S5 going back to S3 with the condition C, not 7. So that's another AND gate. And then again, here there's already something else that's coming into S3. So we need to feed this into an OR gate. So we can erase this and make the OR gate bigger. See how I'm going back and forth and erasing my diagram? So because in the beginning it's really hard to tell unless you're really good. So I just keep going back and add stuff onto it. 
so okay so now we're done with this now s6 is just going to come straight back to s1 without any condition so s6 mm, coming back to s1 now again we see that here already something here into s1 so we need an or gate to or these two so whatever we, we had there before or with what we have now and then there so once you have these um, you can look at the table so we're almost done we need to look at the, this table and see what control signals come out Mm, kind of laggy. Okay. So C zero is one, is or is one when S two or S three is one. Right. So during these states, then C zero is one. So we can just have C two. I mean S two and S three. So S2 and S3 or together is C0. Okay. And then C1 is 1 for S2. So C1. And then looking at C2 is 1 and S S2. So same thing here, C2, okay, now C3 is 1 at S2 as well, so come here, C3, now C4 is 1 at, what is this? S4. So looking at S4, C4 is 1. And for C5, C5 is 1 at S5. So S5 is 1, then C5 here. And then done is 1 at. S1 or S6. So we look at S1 or S6. So this line is my S6. So I'm going to order them together. And it's going to give me done. Okay. So now we're done. This looks kind of ugly, but it's correct.